Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some thoughts on an upcoming fight. But before I go further, just remember the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I did a bunch of research on an upcoming fight. It's the IBF Lightweight Championship. Lightweight is 135. It's one of boxing's legendary divisions. And um, I was doing this video to give a gambling angle. But after I did the research, I found out that the gamblers already know who this underrated champion is. He is a fighter you need to know. He is the IBF lightweight champion, very underrated. His name is Miguel Vasquez, and he is facing Marlon Aguilar. Now understand that Vasquez, who has rarely been on uh, TV here in California, I can tell you that Vasquez has only lost to two men, Saul Canelo Alvarez and Timothy Bradley. I can tell you too that Vasquez is one of the most advanced fighters in the sport, in my opinion. Um, he literally is able to throw out of sync jabs. His jab seems to have some kind of uh, off-tempo vibe to it that literally causes opponents to get hit flush with it. He is a master of timing and uh, he uh, is underrated. Um, now the gamblers figured him out. They've made him such a big favorite that it's not worth betting on him in this fight even though I fully expect him to win. But don't mistake the talent level. Don't mistake the ability to throw punches in between rhythm. He really does remind me of Bernard Hopkins. This is a thinking man's fighter. He um, systematically took apart Leonardo Zaprovina in his last fight. Very impressive performance. He beat Jihoon Kim in a fight that quite frankly surprised me. And I believe that he's the kind of fighter who when he goes up against more known names in boxing, and keep in mind, 135 is a hotbed with guys like Robert Guerrero, Juan Manuel Marquez. Just remember this name, Miguel Vasquez, because quite frankly, when he goes up against those bigger known guys, you're going to have a betting opportunity because several of the champions in boxing, including Vasquez, seem to be off the public's radar. Let me just make the case on why I feel Vasquez is going to successfully defend his title against Marlon Aguiar. Understand that Aguiar is what I call a long jabber. I know some would dispute this. They feel that Aguiar is a slugger. Um, I would just encourage you, quite frankly, to do a YouTube search to sit down and to actually watch his fights. I consider him to be a long jabber. He's a skillful survivor who once went the distance with Daniel Ponce de Leon. Right? You may remember Ponce de Leon has one of the biggest punches pound for pound in boxing. Truly one of the sport's best punchers. Aguilar was able to go the distance with him. Here's the problem. Ponce de Leon's, uh, when Aguilar fought Ponce de Leon. That was at 125, right? Understand that lightweight is at 135. In fact, Aguilar has never fought at lightweight. Let me also point out, too, that Aguilar lost his last fight. Because I believe he's a long-range jabber, and you're going to have to look at the video to decide this for yourself. I know in several... Uh, boxing chat rooms and on several boxing sites. They believe he's a slugger. I believe he's not going to be able to pressure Vasquez inside. Vasquez is so dominant outside that if you cannot pressure him inside, you're going to lose the fight. 
So I believe Aguilar, because of his style, jabbing, mixed with some hooks, um, I don't believe he's going to be able to supply sufficient pressure to overcome Vasquez's jab, which is a great punch. Let me also point out, too, that Aguilar has been knocked out at lighter weights, granted, by excellent punchers. But he was knocked out by Johnny Gonzalez, who now has one of the major belts at the lighter weights, and Oscar Larios at 126. Right? In fact, Aguilar has been KO'd five times in his career. Let me also point out, too, that Aguilar, and this is crucial in analyzing a fight involving Vasquez, Aguilar has been the victim of some lopsided decisions in his career where he has lost the fight by several rounds on each of the judges scorecards. When you're dealing with a Miguel Vasquez, a boxing scientist, someone like Bernard Hopkins who sits down, breaks down fighters, looks at their past performance, figures out their weaknesses, sees what has worked against them in the past. In other words, when you're dealing with a scientific boxer who tries to break it down, quite frankly, like gamblers do, um, then you know that if his opponent has been beaten by a wide unanimous decision in multiple fights, he'll be able to figure out what works against that opponent and what does not, especially in a non-mandatory title defense like this one. I'm sure Vasquez picked Aguilar for a reason. So I believe that Miguel Vasquez is going to retain his title at 135. While I don't feel the fight is bettable, what I do feel is that it's moments like this that you get an opportunity to um, add another name to the underrated fighters on your list. So you will know that if you ever hear uh, Vasquez signing on to fight a big name or Vasquez uh, being a last-minute replacement for a fighter. And keep in mind, you have a whole group of boxers. Vitaly Klitschko is one of them. You remember Vitaly stepping in at the last minute to fight Lennox Lewis. You have a whole group of skilled fighters who know the fighters they can beat and who are always in shape and who are prepared to step in at a moment's notice to take on a big name. If you see Vasquez in a fight like that, you need to think long and hard about taking him. Put another way, Vasquez fought Saul Alvarez, I believe, in his debut. Then Vasquez, years later, had a rematch against Saul Alvarez. You know, there are different opinions out there as to who won those fights, right? What I do know is, um, you know, Alvarez obviously is now the 154-pound champion, different type fighter than Vasquez. But Vasquez at a lower weight, Vasquez at 135, might be more dangerous, quite frankly, a tougher opponent than Saul Alvarez at 154. You're talking about an elite fighter. You're talking about the IBF lightweight champion. I hope you give him a look this weekend. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.